Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a Pioneer League. Pioneer is a format where I've often played on the stream and often played those like white aggro deck and always lost to every EZ deck floating around. It's finally time to play Treasure Cruise. Treasure Cruise. Treasure Cruise. Thank you, Lorecraft64. How's it going? Thank you for the. Thank you for the sub. Okay, so this deck comes from Mattia Rizzi, a very good Italian player who has been streaming a, a lot of this deck and came second in a challenge. Uh, he, this deck basically is tuned to be resilient to Unlicensters, a very common cyber hate card against uh, every Treasure Cruise deck. You're playing 4 Crackling Drake, 4 Thing in the Ice, 3 Shredder, 2 Fable. Your threats never touch the graveyard. Actually, none of your cards touch the graveyard outside of Cruise because you have well, Crackling Drake that counts the Exile Zone and same does Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. I guess Fiery Impulse cares about the graveyard. You, couple, you got a couple of spell peers, eight cantrips, and uh, a charter course, which can be a two mana draw two cards. Even a couple of anger of the gods in the main, which is uh, which is lovely. Um, we got twenty one lands with one of the wholesome giant, one Otawara, one Sokanzan, and then some some, some lands. No, no, nothing spicy there. Keranos, God of Storms. This card used to be a thing in, in modern, uh, back in the Splinter Twin versus Jande. Never seen it again. Sahilik for control. We got three rending volley for the uh, s um, both spell queller and mono blue matchup. Couple of hers in the mirror, and then some counters here and there. Pretty straightforward list. Uh, let's get to the Pioneer League with Blue Ray Drakes. Remember back in the days um, when Phoenix was a thing in Standard, just like it is in Pioneer, there was a list playing uh, crackling, for Crackling Drake and Sprite Dragon and not playing any, any Phoenix. Uh, this list does the same basically, just minimizes the Graveyard 8. Or rather, minimizes the weakness to Graveyard 8. <laughs> We unclear if I want to take out Treasure Cruise whenever I play against uh, a licensed hers, which is most likely going to be every match. Do I want to trim down on Treasure Cruise every match? I don't think so, but maybe you have Fable of the Mirror Breaker to discard it. Hmm. Okay, let's go on the on the play. With a very good end. Turn two thing in the ice. Excellent blocker as well as uh, you know becomes a seven eight rather quickly. No combo with dress down in this format. You actually have to play four spells to flip thing in the ice. Put him against two six so far. All right, let's go. Let's begin. Storm Craved Coast Pass. Okay. As a Lanor Elf, I'm assuming experimental one. Hmm. Let's play Titi. Titi. Let's see if they have uh, the two mana three three here. Werewolf Puck Leader. No, it's not it. It's a Thalia's Lieutenant. Hmm. Alright. Uh, okay. I can just go land go here. I got... Fiery Impulse will be uh, one of the one of the two Fiery Impulse will have Spell Mastery tri uh, triggered. Let's see how they attack first. I'm gonna probably block Lieutenant and then shock the experimental one. And the TT starts triggering. 
All right. Yeah, no need for me to cast this Fire Impulse now. My opponent can play a very powerful card in Archon of Emeria. I mean, not with this mana base. Extraction Specialist. It's a good card. Um, I guess I want to go Consider. And then I want to Bolt uh, the Talia's Lieutenant. Because this one will become a 3-3 now. I was hoping to draw spells with that consider. Because now I can't flip thing in the ice. Oh, what a... I pun okay, I punted. Sorry, chat. I punted. Um, Let's go... Treasure Cruise. And attack for seven. I was supposed to wait them to return this. Not, not that it matters too much, but... Alright, go. If I were to play Shredder or Ting in the Ice, what would it be? I'm playing both of them. If I had to choose, why do I have to choose? We got Thunder Rebuke. Let's see, they go Extraction Special. Whoa, what a card, Extraction Specialist, huh? What a card. In the past. Okay. Uh, draw. Ooh, Crackling Drake. Love it. Very good. Uh, well, let's attack. If I didn't have the money for both, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know how to answer those questions. Try to play competitive magic with all, this, uh, all the options available. Uh, I believe... So let's play this first. Now let's see what I draw off of it. How big is it? 5-4 with the opt. Okay. Oh, I don't think I need to play opt now. I'll just play a top land. Is Thing in the Ice expensive? Let me check, because I have no idea. Thing in the Ice. Did I ever reprinted it? Thing in the Ice. Wow, they never reprinted it? Crazy. Oh, wow. I didn't know it was... Oh, it's 10, 12 euro each. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I mean, you've seen me playing these kind of decks and always play against these decks, and there was not. It was not even close. Anyway, um, maybe I still lose. Okay, so uh, let's try to trim on Treasure Cruise. I I'm not sure it's correct, but let's let's try to do it. Um, mm -mm. the deck plays Collected Company. The deck plays Collected Company. Ether Gust can also hit the, the green one drop. Yeah, I mean, maybe I, I should never touch the Treasure Cruise. Like, even we paid four mana for it, it was great. So maybe maybe this is a, a big punt that I'm doing. I, I, I love for Crackling Drake. I love it. I remember when I was playing Historic Phoenix on Magic Arena, Crackling Drake was always the, the card I'd overperformed, especially post cyborg.
I mean, I just see this deck, and I, it feels so good to me. So good to me. Like, all these cards are so good. I don't get the three Shredders. Maybe you would like to play a fourth Shredder over a Charter Course. Or maybe even a fourth Shredder over a Thing in the Ice. But again, um, the deck list has been net decked from Mattia Rizzi, who's a very, very good player. And I'm a big fan of net decking good players. Whenever you don't know the player you're net decking, you can afford to make some changes. But if you're net decking a good player, uh, I think it's great to just open the whole 75. Yeah, 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 Crackling Drake is, is great on Arena. All right, I mean, one, two, three, four. It can't get much better than that. And the Fable. Fable also helps uh, filling the graveyards. Maybe you should never touch the, the Treasure Cruise. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Human. Is that a 3 3 for 2? No. It's a champion of the parish, basically. Titi, hello! Right on schedule, as they say. Let's see if they have a Reflector Mage here. Ooh. Ah. El Mago Reflector. Okay. <laughs> Same one, two, three as earlier for my opponent. Playing action against the bot. Even the same lands. <laughs> I think I'll go Thunder and Rebuke here. This thing can get out of hand easily, huh? Maybe don't, yeah. Plus that way my Crackling Drake gets... Becomes a 2-4 next turn. I mean, if I play Fable, is also good, of course. It's not that playing a bad card here. Playing Fable. With the... With the gray border. <laughs> the, the, the other cards are black border. This one is a gray border. Oh, main phase collector company. A nice little 1, 2, 3, 4 by my opponent as well. I also had a nice 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, both of us are running hot. Let's see who wins. I have in my deck Kefaton, General Culo, a Reflector Mage. Oh my. I have in my deck the Sweeper, the Anger of the Gods. That would be nice if I top deck it. Otherwise, I lose here. Oh yeah, General Culo is another card that, that, that's bad against. That makes my crews bad. All right, take four down sixteen. Do I top deck the anger? Anger. Anger. Of the gods. Nope, that's all right. Uh, well, and which what color do I choose? Your blue or red? Mm, I think red. And then I play this and pass. Hmm. Opt. Maybe you should have, cho Maybe you should have chosen blue? Mm -hmm. I don't even have that many double blue cards, though. Yeah, it's okay. Generale Kulo does not kill my creature. It only it needs to be four power. Plus, you have to sacrifice two humans. Secluded Courtyard. Naming humans. They got, they got two cards in it only. This card can't attack nor block. Block, take seven. Charming Papega Prince. 
What do you do? Yo, you blink. You blink. What happens if you blink this? Can this can this attack? Like once this comes back, is this a new item so this can attack? That might actually be the best use of Charming Pepega. Wow, it is. So this card can't attack now. Pogs? Si, sí, vabbè. Because it's, it's a new card, so this is, this is able to attack now. Anger of the Gods doesn't even save me anymore. Nothing saves me anymore. Va bene, good game, opponente, you win. Cosima. I'm pretty happy with taking out all the cruises, honestly. And, and Ether Gust answers. Oh, I guess Ether Gust doesn't answer very much. He only answers Collected Company and. Uh, and the other card and the uh, eternal uh, the one drop yeah it's not even that good against company because in theory to go company and do your turn so you just put it back to their deck so they just cast it chapter course maybe maybe it's, maybe it's better Keranos god of the storms Definitely just low for this format. For, for, for this game, I mean. Sahili? Yeah, also too bad. Remember, Planeswalker are bad against uh, creatures. Planeswalkers are bad against creatures, unless your Planeswalker kills a creature on ATB, like Chandra, in which case, like, worst case scenario, you treat it one for one. The best case scenario, you run away with the game. A similar... Similar argument to, to Ragavan against Hammer Time. Worst case scenario, you trade one for one with your creature. Best case scenario, you run away with the game. And that's totally different topic, but we just talked about it earlier in the previous league with Blue and Merc died. So, might as well reiterate the thought. You don't only have to see a card in this worst case scenario. Worst and best. There's a bit first. Let's keep. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen, chat? Now, last game I had the nuts and I lost. I guess my opponent nuts beats my nuts. When it's debating where to go to five or keep six. I'm always a fan of people mulliganing. Never a fan of people keeping bad ends. Okay, they 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 kept a bad end. Let go. Giant killer. I had a feeling that I had a land on top. That's why I played opt instead of consider. Draw. Uh, I'll uh, pass. I don't think I want to kill the giant killer. In general, if you um, are looking for something specific, you should play Opt over Consider. I mean, it's super marginal, but a situation like this, for example, you play Opt first. <sighs> I got a 19. Uh, 
a licensed purse. Vroom, vroom. Let's play, let's play consider response. Thing in the eyes. No. And another consider response. The boat and breaker, yes. Okay. Draw. Hmm. Oh, look. I'll play Titi, and I think I want to play a top. Uh, on top land. Because if I play this one on tops, uh, this one always comes into play on top, so I might as well do this. I could have kept the Fable, but at the same time, I felt like um, I might have just not drawn the third land for a while. I'm okay with this. Let's see if they have a Reflector Mage. Black. Oh, that's generally cool, I think. Okay. Yep. It's very nice that uh, cars like this... Wait, doesn't this count also the Exile Zone? I, I must have been mistaken then. I got confused. I'm sorry. This card isn't good. I thought this card was better. Uh, the beginning. Uh, I go then. Draw. Let's go Thunder Rebuke. On Generale Culo. And then I pass. And then if they tap their hers, I'm gonna play Blitz in response to the giant killer. Beacon Bolt. Yeah, I got confused with Beacon Bolt. That's what happened. That's what happened. I got confused with Beacon Bolt. I guess this one exiles it, which is somewhat relevant. Okay, so they have four cards. Let's hope they don't go land company, find a bounce spell. That would be bad. But again, our deck doesn't really suffer this licensor. So I only have two treasure crews that go, uh, that go under it. Crackling Drake doesn't, doesn't care about where the card is. Okay, they have two cards in hand. They start with this. That's a good sign. It means no company. Okay, do they go Extraction Specialist? They do. So just a 3-2 lifelink, no abilities. They can attack me for 4 if they want to. I'll take it. Next time I take, can't attack for seven. Do I want to? Probably. Draw. I think I want to, yes. I don't really have anything going on, so... Thing in the ice is the only thing I got here. So I go either gas here, but it won't resolve, it will just be wasted. Exile was relevant. That's true, Exile was relevant. Very relevant, actually, because then it. I had to kill the, I would have needed to kill the, the giant killer. Because I couldn't bounce the giant killer. Alright, pump the experiment one. 
because of toughness. Experiment one also keeps evolve uh, mechanic also keeps count of toughness. That was a thing in the past. The Cloudfin Raptor Blizzard weird. And then uh, crack the clue. Okay, good. You can attack me for four. It's not a big deal. Or you don't want to just exile my cards. Also not a big deal. I obviously need to draw something. Funny how I kept a Wildlander, Wildlander on the play in this game. And I find myself very flooded. Uh, best draw with our... Uh, probably just Crackling Drake into something. Crackling Drake into... I don't know. Yeah. That one's not great. I think I'm gonna hold it, actually. But I can double spell. I could play a land to activate this, but I think I'd rather hold the land so that I can draw a spell and go shredder spell and loot the land away. We should then of the bugbear instead of hold this at the spot. Component now as a creature in the graveyard for extraction specialist. Let's see if they have it in end. Aya. They drew a company. Oh, okay. They only found one reflector mage. Still super annoying. Ooh, I can I can cast this next turn because it's it's not called a woken or it's called thing in the ice. So I can cast it off uh, reflector mage. When it can attack me for nine, and they will for sure. I don't feel good about this game. I need to draw well. Yeah, them them finding the reflector mage there was a big deal. Nine, but pop up, merda. I got a six. I need to draw. I need to draw well. I need to draw well. Let's see if I draw well. Eh, it's not bad. Let's go shredder. Let's go land crackling Drake. Let's loot. I'll get rid of thing in the eyes. And pass. Expressive duration would be a great draw. That's true. It would be a great draw. Eris coming in. Yes, indeed. Do I think Blue White Pioneer is better with 60 or 80 cards? Unfortunately, I don't play enough Pioneer to have an opinion. I'm sorry. They have one card in end. What is it? Malevolent Hermit. Okay, not the worst. They have no cards in end now. This card can be regenerated, but it doesn't really matter. This card can counter my cruise next turn, so that's kind of matter. I, I, I am very knowledgeable in modern, and I can most likely answer all your questions. In Pioneer, I mostly just behave as a journalist. So I don't really have experience to say something, but I can, I can explain what's going on. You know, like journalists, they don't know much, but they follow the news. Okay, I'm trading 100% with the Crackling Drake. No, vabbè, che attacque. Oh, can I block the hearse? What's going on? Oh, okay. Uh, I take two down to four, right? This one doesn't trigger when it dies. Then it flew open, by the way. Oh, wow. They punted big time then. Should have tapped this. All right, cool. Let's go. Untap. Draw. Randing volley. Bella, 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 bella. Let's go opt first. 
strangle, ma va bene, va bene. Leave it on top. Let's strangle what? So this one can get regenerated. So maybe I just want to use an exile effect on this. I guess it doesn't matter. Exile effect or not. Anyway, uh, let's strangle, uh, I don't know, Reflector Mage. Loot. Spiteful Hazard? Haha! <laughs> Alright then, let's, let's, let's... Let's go Spikefield Hazard on the Malevolent Hermit. <gasps> ah no, Aspetta! This one also ability! Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type. Or an ability. Vabbè che ho beccato questa, quindi è uguale. Uh, let's cast this here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is not unclaimed territory. It's much better. I literally drew probably like the only... Okay, whatever. It happened, so... Yeah. You counter. I'm not paying. No. Uh, no. And then I pay one. I only have one other cruise, so let's pay one. They have no cards in hand. My hand isn't the greatest. Do I cast this? I might just... No, vabbè, let's cast this. E next turn I can activate the hole. Go. I should opponent intentionally tap this to trick me. And they almost got there. I, I realized at some point, but they almost got there. Okay, they're in Hellbent, so they, they draw a card. I have the hole next turn to do bada boom. What do you draw? Oh, this one from the graveyard. Mm, vabbè, dai, not a big deal. And you pass. Okay. Draw. Otawara. Sure. Let's send in the land here. I'll, I'll make all my land drops. I'll make all my land drops. I can block and regenerate. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
because this gives me an extra card to, to loot with the shredders. Titi. Titi, titi, titi. Do I play opt? Yeah, I don't want to play titi. Trigger. I think they are on Magic Line. You can't order them, so they they are automatically ordered. All right. This make this match actually took like half an hour. I think this deck is very slow. I think I under I underestimated the 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 speed of this deck. Do I play Legacy sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. You can find my content on Channel Fireball YouTube channel. Every week there's one video. On my own YouTube channel, uh, usually also every week. On Monday I release the video about Legacy Elves, which is my uh, deck of choice right now in, in Legacy. I think it's the best deck. Metagame-wise. Metagame in, in, in online, Magic Online, uh, on paper. In paper, Blue Red Delver is probably the strongest choice all the time. Because paper doesn't really follow the, the metagame as much as uh, Magic Online does. And this is true for every format, even for Magic Online, for Modern and Popper. So what's the best deck in modern now on MTGO and the paper? Eh, top of facile. No, vabbè. Uh, the best deck in modern right now is Blue Red Merc Tide. In paper, it's four color. Because Magic Online, the metagame actually evolves and changes and things like that. Whereas in paper, most likely everybody that wants to win plays a, a Blur and Merc Tide. It's the quote unquote, he has the best ratio of cheaper best deck. So in paper, that's very relevant. Or Magic Online, not, not as relevant. If you, play, if you play Paper Modern, I think Four Color and Living End are the best choice. Magic Online Modern, probably Blur and Merc Tide. Is the best choice. In Pioneer, I really have no clue. But every time I see a deck that isn't blue, red, or mono green, they always seem bad to me. So I always have this idea that mono green is just by far the best deck. I know that it doesn't win, which I guess uh, I don't have an answer for why mono green doesn't win in the in the weekend tournament. This weekend, there's a there's a big tournament, the Pioneer Showcase. That one will say a lot about the the real meta game. Have I tried Rakdos Midrange in Pioneer? I had, I had. I think it's very bad. Cards like Graveyard Trespasser, Soren, Bonecrush Giant. They don't seem playable to me. I I understand that it wins. I just don't know really how. And maybe it's because of a weird uh, blue white meta game and things like that. Very good, and one, two, three. I'll play opt end of turn. This is a treasure cruise deck. This is not a phoenix deck. So just play our cantrips. Graveyard. Uh, sorry, bottom. Uh, th that could mean uh. Uh, the field, the the Lotus field deck, but I have to play Shredder, I think. Horse Heroic can mono blue spirits obliterate mono green. Yeah, but like if two bad decks beat one good deck, it doesn't mean that the two that the deck disappears. Like Titan Shift and Burn also obliterate uh, for color, but still for color is the best deck in modern. Okay, so yeah, that is the, the Lotus Field deck. Doesn't seem to be a great matchup as far as I remember. I think uh, uh, Mattia Rizzi lost in the final to Lotus Field, saying it was a very bad matchup.
Attack with Shredder. Next turn I'm gonna for sure loot away one of the screws. I don't think we can be reactive about this game. We have to apply pressure. Next turn, ideally I draw a lane so I can go Crackling Drake and leave a Pierce. And then maybe we can kill them in two turns. I don't know. They go Sylvan's Crying into Lotus Field this turn. No, they go Poseju on my... Wow, really? Poseju on my Fable. Crazy. And then go Lotus Field, okay. Draw. Attack for three, play Crackling Drake, pass the turn. I could play Consider, dig for a land to pump the Shredder, but... It's actually worth it, I think. Yeah, I should have done this main phase. I missed the point. Pass. I missed the point of damage. Hopefully it doesn't matter. What's the earliest they can go off? Mm. Uh, I'm assuming turn 4 or 5, but I don't know actually. I need a treasure from attack. No, I could have done in combat. In combat phase I could have pumped uh, the, the, the thing. So I have 7 damage now, but that will uh, spiral out of control soon. As, as soon as they start casting all these spells, the Crackling Drake will be large. I will never kill them next turn, but they one after for sure. I'm assuming my opponent will kill me next turn, but maybe not. We have one spell pierce. Do I play the challenges sometimes? Never. I played the challenges when I had COVID. I played uh, four challenges in two days. I got... Uh, I played three popper challenges and one modern challenge. But that's it. Uh, I hope I don't have... I hope... I hope I won't get COVID for another year. And then next year I'll play challenges again. You play what? Vizier Tumbling Sands. Sure. On tap. Cycle. Va bene. Va bene. You have the hidden strings. If you do, I'm gonna spell Pierce that. And you have five mana. Now I end up and uh, let's see, let's see what's the worst I can do. Oh, bella, bella pescata, bravo, bravo man. So opt. Uh, bottom. Uh, cruise. Let's dig it all. To, 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 to. Loot, discard this, draw three cards. Okay. Mm. Allora, I have five plus seven, twelve. Just some cinque, sette, dodici. The one missed point, I would have won the game. If I didn't miss the one point of damage last last game, I would have last turn I would have won the game. Ah, that's so annoying. Knowing that I could have I could have won if I 
Ah! Va bene, dai, va bene. Um, what's in my deck that can interact with them other than the one spell peers? I think nothing. Eh, niente. I guess I just play Crackling Drake then. Do they have sweepers in their deck? Maybe. Maybe they have sweepers? No, I think I'm still casting the Crackling Drake. And pass. We already triggered the shredder. I put in the. Uh, I can easily go off now. It just floats six hidden strings. We'll see. I mean, they need to have good cards and. Yeah, they can easily beat spell peers. They got six mana. Specfield Hazard face would have done one damage. Yeah. Yeah, but I couldn't find Specfield Hazard. If I played this, I don't have any more the, the spells to cast. Anyway, they got six mana in pool. They're going to untap their lands. Dark Petition? Bella! Haha! <laughs> Let's counter! Nice! <laughs> bene, bene, bene! Win, game one! Cyborg! I mean, I have so many bad cards, right? Basically, the whole deck is bad card versus them. Wow, I took out 10 cards and I still have one to bring in. Also, Thing in the Ice is very bad. Sahili isn't bad? Hmm, okay, sure, I'll take out the TT then. Kirano's time to shine? No, it's not. It's not Kirano's time to shine. Let me see if they have any creatures, like a tireless tracker or something like that. Let me check out the latest, um, the latest uh, uh, pioneer list. What do they have in the, in the sideboard? It's just just random cards. Okay, then let's go. Submit. Strangle is fine to kill Arbor Elf, yeah. Arbor Elf, maybe. Lier? Hmm. The Sphinx that stops the counter, okay. 7 mana, 5-5? Five, five? All right, all right, we only need to draw Ragavan, and then uh, this hand can go places. Hello, Max. Good morning, Max. A license does nothing here? Really? Uh, the last time I've watched uh, uh, Nassif playing against them, the licensers stopped... Um, I think they had something. What? They had something. Let me check. They had something. Balaget Recovery? Two things they had. Galvanic Iteration and Balaget Recovery, I think. I think, I think there was another card, though. Spell Mastery. Yeah. No, I, th I mean, if you look at my sideboard, it's just a bunch of dead cards anyway, so... Like, I sure I could have this, or this, for the Grazer. Pony Mulligans to 5.
Max, how was your uh, Merktide stream yesterday? I saw on Twitter you went live. I didn't actually check out. How did it, how did it go? Okay, I'll point a Malian C5 and goes a while ago. Was as you go. Shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer. I'm gonna counter. Whatever. I brought in counter to counter target spell. Opponent puts a spell in the stack. I'm gonna counter it. Us. Sylvan Scrying. Okay, resolves. You went 4 1 twice? Nice. And you phone load, uh, yeah, you phone load this field and you suck two lands. Sure. Put it in the graveyard? Yes. Basta terre, I want spells. Spells, give me spells. Deck. Spells. Titi. Hmm. I don't think this spell is very good. Titi. Titi is really not good here, huh? Glass fever? Yeah, I don't have I don't I don't have the fever at home. But it's working well. I think they are a dispute gamer, so I'm gonna bait with the TT. I don't wanna jam a crackling drake. Oh, okay. You prefer okay, thank you, Jaws. Yeah. So you're saying that uh, Mattia Rizzi preferred uh, whatever. I'm gonna counter this. Preferred uh, anything else over over the hearse. Interesting. D do you know if he made any changes? Oh, treasure cruise. I was going to cast. I think I'm still casting the Drake though. Kind of want to beat her. Nice man, Gubella Pescata. You know if you made any changes ever since the, the second place. Because the second place in the challenge was actually a while back at this point. Okay, you can have it. You can have your hidden strings. Anything else? Is that a six mana? You pay six for something? Yes, again! <laughs> you have dispute? You have dispute? No, you don't! Boom! <laughs> All right, let's attack! Allora, un attimino, perché qua I have to decide. Uh... Alright, to begin, I'm gonna go cruise because. Hop on a cruise. True, true. True, true. Hmm. And then what? Hmm. Opponent is not ghosting. No, not at all. True, true. Do I... how do I attack here? Because I don't think I can deal more than 7 damage. So might as well uh, attack with Crackling Drake. Yeah, the thing in the ice is just terrible. I should probably take them all out as well. Eh, what else do I do? Opponent streaming? Cool. Uh, should I go Sahili? No, dai. Guarda, I think I'm gonna go... <sighs> they concede. Ed's clap for Gnor il Grande. You can check out my score above my head here. 2-0. Uh, 
I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, I'll look for an opponent though, because in Pioneer, it often takes a long time. So. Be back soon. Yeah, with Murktide, we went 4-1. We beat uh, Titan Shift in the last match. I'm going to be uploading the, the VODs on Sunday on, on YouTube. Whereas this Pioneer will go up on Monday. To have a video every day on my YouTube channel. Round number three. I haven't lost a die roll the whole week. I hope I play against some random creatures this game because otherwise I'm not gonna win with two anger and a fairy impulse and man this deck is so geared towards creature decks. A lot of removal spell in this deck. Vamos. Spar Bluff, Yargo. Why did I board in Sahili versus Lotus? I don't know. Why did I do it? I have ten awful cards in my deck. <laughs> I, I have to bring in something. Imagine playing against Lotus now, yeah. Okay, they got Thoughtseize. They probably... Uh, what deck plays Blooming Marsh and Thoughtseize? Maybe Golgari cards I own. Typical Pioneer staple. Abs and Grease Fang. All right, that's a better deck. Yeah, Abs and Grease Fang. It is. I don't do much against Abs and Grease Fang if they if they have the the nice curve. No, Pyrelion the second is in the graveyard. Chat. I think Pepangu loses. I think Pepangu loses. I have to play on top lane because I need to combine my two removal spells to kill a Grease Fang. Grease Fang is a good deck. It must be a very good deck. Because JMM played it in the last uh, Pioneer Challenge. Allora, let's make sure. Mm. E che faccio? E niente, I think I have to go Fiery Impulse and then Blitz. Okiba boss. The name sounds like a meme. Ooh. <clears throat> Fable of the Mirror Breaker. That's not bad, but I'm still not putting in the graveyard. Strangle. I'll probably strangle this. Just because I want to cast the cruise sooner or later. They have five cards. If they have if they have another thing, I'm gonna lose. How is an Italian Grease Fang? How how did they how did they translate Grease Fang? I'm curious. Grease Fang. Zanaunta? 
Turbozan. Wait, doesn't grease mean, um, like, oiled? Like, full of oil? My chat, doesn't grease mean that? Grease. It's usually good to let the grease vein trigger to kill it. It puts the paridon in their hand. Oh, they really? Oh, wow, I didn't know that. So I could have put my opponent paridon in it. No, actually, no, they would have discarded with Rafid Informant. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. Draw. Consider. Eva bene. Let's, let's do it. Grease is what you cook with your gould old... Yeah. Why did it... Okay. Fiery Impulse. Huh, do I want it? Because Fiery Impulse kills uh, Grease Fang. It's not bad. Should I... Should I... Nah, you know what? I'm been in it. And then I exile my whole graveyard. And then I play TT. Uh, actually, I'll play Shredder instead. Next time I can play TT Anger, and I can trigger the Shredder. And now the Shredder... Maybe they play two spells and they trigger the Shredder. Grazier refers to Lubrificant in, homo, in a automobile... Oh, okay. Alright, I put in as the combo. Do you ever beat the combo? Maybe if I flip thing in the ice. Unlikely though. How much damage is this? 12. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to play around it? Hmm, maybe. Hmm. Vabbè. Draw. Okay. Good game. Um, random volley. Uh, a license there's five cards to take out. Anger of the gods. Uh, thunder rapture, thunder rebuke, and strangles. Yeah, that seems good. Spell pierce counters the Azika's chair. Yeah, do they play Azika? Maybe the counter is also the other thing. Yeah. Let me actually check a deck list because I am just not knowledgeable at all in Pioneer. I mean, not at all, but I'm not very knowledgeable, so I need to make sure I know what I'm doing. Let me check JMM list. I saw that he it made the top four. Ah, uh, the list of Grace Fang is this. Quattro, quattro, quattro. Oh, four is because Chariot. Aspepius for sure comes in. It should have stays in. Uh, I think removal spells suck. Source of removal spells suck, I mean. Ah, yeah. Vamos! But yeah, it's funny that they translated in Italian Grease Fang with Turbo Fang. Turbo Fang. What could they have translated to make it more? Zannoliata? Nah, that sucks as a name. Alright, draw. Sorry, play, I mean. <laughs> uh, can't keep. Keep. Go. Oh wow. That's annoying. Thankfully we have the shredder to loot away the cruise. A bird. Uh, 
Let's go big bird. Do you have fatal push? Nice, you don't. Engine Fang, yeah. Thought sees. Alright, goodbye, Opt. It's been nice yes, meeting you. Iteration. Oh, very good. I called for iteration and a new chart, of course. Honestly, it's not that far off. E che madonna, però. Porca merda. Ah, di che carta è merda che gioco. Draw. Dai, mazzo, però. E ti ho fatto di male. I think I'm gonna suck hands and double block. And then they go to get shared and I concede. Alright, not actually. Slightly, a slightly worse card than Azika's Chariot. Or a Fiend's Informant. Got a thought, Seas, va bene. They'd be like, I don't need to thought, Seas. Yo, Tony Hidaho, thank you for the third month. Thank you, Tony. You became an espresso badge. An espresso badger. Apuna also doesn't do literally anything, by the way. Si, ma puttana Eva, ma che cazzo, ma le spell. They got three cards. What do they have? They probably also have some random eight drop in their hand. Oh, is that a... What's that? Takenuma? Okay, and you returned? Or a Fiend's Informant? Have it? I got a 14, you have four cards in hand. Turu, turu, turu. I need to draw Fable of the Mirror Breaker more often. I guess I only play two. Why does he only play two Fable? Can't we put the Anger in the side and put two Fable instead of the Anger? I don't want to play anymore. Like... The two anger main deck, I don't think make much sense to me, right? There's so many removal spells already. Maybe is Fable too too slow for Pioneer? No. The the red black deck plays four. Plus Fable helps you feel the cruise. It wasn't lost yet? I don't wanna play anymore. I mean if fine. You can you can join your own league and not concede. I join my own league and concede. Whenever I, I, whenever I'm bored. Geranos, God of the Storms. Yeah, I mean, Keranos, I think, is good against Rakdos. Like, they don't have a ways to kill it. Uh, sure, sure, yeah, that thought is, but... Outside of that, once it's in play, it should be impossible for them to deal with. The blue-white de blue deck have counters.
win the die roll as every single game. Hmm. All right, so this end is great if I draw a second land. It's, uh, well, I lose if I don't. Uh, two, four, drop. I think I'm gonna mulligan. All right, let's go. Uh, what do I bottom? No, I think it's too good to bottom. Maybe it's just the crackling Drake. Yeah, it's about to crackling. Go. Okay. Maybe mirror. Play Shredder. Gonna help me fuel the crew super soon. The problem with Thing in the Ice is a card that you want to draw on turn two and then you never want to draw anymore. So it's perfect uh, as in. It's perfect. As a four of, right? But then, especially if you put four Fable, which is gonna be the next change if I have to play this deck again, and four Shredder. Consider so busted with Delve. And pass. Opponent's playing uh, maybe Phoenix, maybe Mirror Match. Okay, bird's not a problem. Got plenty of removal for that. I have discarded the whole of the Storm Giant, which I have a fear that is gonna be the way I'm gonna lose this game. Is all of the Storm Giants. Weird that they didn't play opt in their turn. I would have certainly done it. Back in the days, this deck used to play Niv Mizzet. I guess format's too fast now. I don't want to play Cruz because that goes under Spell Pierce. I still don't want to play Spell Pierce. I think, I think it can do much better than just countering Opt. Bonus five cards in end. I'm gonna resolve, a, and and they didn't, haven't really, haven't even resolved the Cruz yet. So here I'm gonna go TT, Strangle, Fiery Impulse.
I'll be able to use all my mana now. Opponent playing his first matchup, the first mirror match of his life, probably. He has never seen the same deck on the other side before this time. But there is a first for everything. And for you, my friend, is the mirror match. This was a pretty good turn, huh? Not a bad turn at all. Huh? We played a 2 mana 7 8. We killed your creature. We drew 3 cards. We countered a spell. It's their time to resolve Cruise. This one doesn't bounce the horror, right? It's only non horrors. Okay, let me attack and then I'll play Crackling Drake. You got an 11, unless you chump. You got an 11 and I'll play Crackling Drake. As a 12 4. And if opponent net decked uh, Materizzi like we did, they don't have any counter for the Crackling Drake. Okay. They draw. Bouncing off each other. Well, yeah. Consider, opt, consider, <laughs> look at the graveyard, a full house of consider, opt, and one single treasure cruise. Yeah, this deck is low, I thought it was much faster than, than it actually ended up being. Did it bounce my Drake, which is not bad, I'm gonna draw another card. Since uh, mana isn't really a problem at the moment. Wow, they attacked me. Interesting. I'm the one who's attacking first. So. I guess they have the whole of the Storm Giants. Mm. Maybe I should actually stay back. Yeah. I should probably stay back here. Because I could die to Otawara end of turn, attack with a hole. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure why they did in that phase. But I, yeah, I guess. Materialist, yes. Hey, unfortunately, I'm gonna get my board sweeped here. Fancy swept. I think it's the right word.
thought it was in a good shape at some point. The opponent just flipped the game. Flipped the game easily. Well done, opponent. Well done, opponent. All right, let's see how to sideboard now. I want this. I probably want to try the Karanos. Sahili. Rending Volley. Second Dispute. A lot of cards. I need to make three, I need to bring in three cards out of this sideboard. It's, I think it has to be some removal spells. Maybe it's something like this. I consider no. oh. Yeah, Blitz doesn't feel good, I agree. Exiling is relevant against the 4-4 four -four troll. But uh, I don't know. Uh, so this card probably strangle. Bonjour, Dark Julio. You think Sprite Dragon is underrated? I play Sprite Dragon in my Blue Red Prowess list. I think I made a video with that deck. Such a weird message. I think hers is bad in the mirror. Like they give up that they're not they didn't sideboard in hers for no value. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, lava coil, but lava coil doesn't kill uh, the um, the grease fang. Let's see if they have another counter or if my Fable resolves. Okay, resolves. Nice. Maybe I'll lose the thing in the ice now. Yeah, I lose the thing in the ice now. I took out thing in the ice. So hard to, to cyborg, man. So hard to cyborg. Running ball on their own. Do I need way now to us? I guess Crackling Drake. It's quite small. Oh, 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, go. Will you also want stream Phoenix in Pioneer? Well, I'm just streaming this deck. Um, I don't know how, or how I'm gonna, when I'm gonna stream Phoenix, but maybe in the future for sure. Okay. Reckless Rage. Mm, no, I don't think Reckless Rage. You can. This deck can play Reckless Rage. Uh. Do I play a land? Nah. Uh, yeah, that's strong. Uh, I want to draw that as well. I don't think I want to cast any of these cards. I want to cast this card though. But not anymore. Let me let me attack with the hearse first. This is big. Should have probably used the um, this thing to crew though. Yeah, I don't know why I used the other one. <laughs> I could have had an extra shaman end of turn. Alright, that was a punt. Four cards. They play three spells, it's bad. Alright, I don't play three spells. I got an eight. Draw. Okay. I'll certainly discard this one. Draw a card. A land. Allora. Uh. Yeah, a bit. Let's screw. And attack for six. If I kick you hers, does the copy die? Yes. The zero zero. Oh no, never mind. No, you don't. You just get an extra hers. You can exile two cards. I think you get a vehicle. Yeah, yeah, no, it doesn't die. It's a vehicle, I think. Could try for science, but I believe I'm... That's what happens. I get a three. No, 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 but you get a, you get a vehicle, you don't get a creature. It's like when you copy a colony, you get kiki cheeky. You gotta land. Nice sequencing. Hey, do I have any outs? Maybe rending volley? Cruise? I'm dead. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, I'm dead. I'm just, um, I'm just for science uh, coping uh, the hers. See what happens. Yeah, you get an extra hers, and then it dies end of turn. Two zero two two.
think I'm gonna call the stream now. Oh, uh, don't feel great to play another match. I don't know. I guess that's the feeling I get whenever I play Pioneer. Thank you for watching. I'll be back next time with more Magic Online gaming. Hey.